My name is Dana Miller Island. I'm the board president of Economic Development. Um, thank you all for coming to Gillette and have your, having your meeting here. It's fantastic. Can I just see uh, by raising your hand who's from who's not from Gillette? Who's not from Wyoming? Fantastic. Well, welcome. Welcome to Wyoming. Um, I'm going to talk about um, how we've progressed over the years and a uh, little bit about how our community developed and uh, how economic development is a big part of that. So economic development is different to different people. So we're taking a very local approach here. And we start by looking at these building blocks. The first level is really we need that buy-in from our local officials, um, county uh, um, leaders, business leaders, all have to band together to want more economic development in our community. There are some communities that say, nope, we're fine just the way we are. We don't want to bring in industry. We don't want to grow. But in Gillette, for decades now, we have really been working towards this. And what they have accomplished here um, is moving up to that next level. The quality of life has improved here just exponentially. Um, I grew up here um, in, in the first boom where there was dirt roads and transient you know, people coming and going and, and people didn't want to stay. And the officials at the time, the business leaders, community leaders really decided that we want to make a community here. We want to make a place where people want to stay and that we're just not always trying to bring people in who are ready to leave the first time something goes wrong. So we've developed parks and recreation centers and this beautiful building here um, that we are now able to attract events and activities to our town that we've never been able to do. We have international events hosted here and it's fantastic. Um, we have a theater next door here that is state of the art. Um, I lived in Boston for a while, and to go to the theater, you know, was very expensive. And um, our kids get to go to the theater here for under ten dollars. It's amazing to see productions like that. So the quality of life. Um, our school districts are fantastic. Um, we're we're building a new, uh, starting a second high school here. So things are are really change for the quality of life aspect. The next thing in developing economic development is workforce. So we have an unbelievable workforce here that is trained. And we also have support from the state for training, as well as we have a local community college that is uh, dedicated also in training our workforce. And then the next thing is the infra infrastructure development as well is, is making sure that we have the places for businesses to come, the industrial parks, um, things like that, that it's move in ready. So the, once those two levels are built, this is where we're focusing our economic development are these next two levels. <clears throat> we have existing businesses here that we are looking to find out what is it that's going to get you to the next level. And if that's what you need, maybe your neighbor over here needs that as well. And that we're really working with those primary businesses to find out what is keeping you from, from growing in your business. So we're working really hard there. And then, of course, the fun part is developing entrepreneurs. Uh, we recently purchased a building that will become an incubator. We are working with the college um, to develop that management um, resource for entrepreneurs. And that's, I'll, I'll steal this line from Phil. He says this a lot, that um, Boeing is located in Washington because that's where Mr. Boeing lived. Ford was developed in Michigan. Ford plant is in Michigan because that's where Henry Ford lived. Dell is in Texas because that's where Michael Dell grew up. So why can't we have an entrepreneur of that same caliber 
here in Gillette, Wyoming. That's what we're really looking to um, find those people and, and grow them and give them the resources they need. And then of course, the most glamorous piece is bringing in awesome industry and bringing in new jobs. So the top block is recruiting new businesses and you know, that's the one that gets all the attention and that, you know, that's the fun one. Where the other two are the, are the take a lot of work and that's where, that's where Phil is right now, helping existing businesses develop and, and getting, looking for state grant money to help expand um, our local businesses that actually you're gonna hear about after I speak. So those are, those kind of, that, that's what we see as our building blocks and that's what we're basing our um, economic development on. Now I, I apologize, this isn't a very clear slide, but it kind of gives you the volume. So the Wyoming Economic Development Association put this list of principles out. So we want to make sure we're focusing on these things. Does it, do our goals that we're setting further, our, further the diversity of Wyoming's economy? Does it build on existing strengths that Wyoming already has? Does it expand our tax base for state and local government? Does it create new quality jobs? And does it expand or diversify our workforce? So those are definitely principles that we keep in mind. So in that, we developed our mission statement, which is to stimulate and facilitate a diverse economy through business retention, expansion, and recruitment. Our vision is to be the community leader supporting and promoting an environment that sustains gener and generates employment and a healthy, growing, and diverse economy. <clears throat> Our values are dedicated, being dedicated, responsible, innovative, visionary, and ethical. So this is our strategic plan for our economic development organization. The number one goal is that we have organizational wellness. We wanna have a board structure, we want to have community outreach, we want everyone to know what our purpose is and to build that community uh, acceptance and um, also have you know, quality staff uh, employed by our economic development. Second goal is business reten retention and expansion. So we have a committee and we are rolling this out now. We actually have a database that we're capturing information about existing businesses so that we can quantify what businesses need to get to the next level and, and what, what we can do more to help them. Uh, the next thing is we're working diligently on, industri on industrial parks. Um, we're looking actually as an organization, a nonprofit organization, to buy land uh, just east of here to develop the roads, get the infrastructure ready so that we can bring in industry. And, that, and we're taking that upon ourselves. Actually, we had a um, deal that, we were, that was being worked on that was too difficult because it was kind of out in the public eye. So with our nonprofit private organization, we're able to kind of do the negotiation and, and make it happen without it being in the newspaper and you know, kind of ruining the deal. So that's where economic development really does a good job. And of course the new business development, um, working with uh, recruiting new businesses. And then the fifth goal is high impact, awesome projects. So getting in those big businesses and uh, really you know, getting that glory of bringing in new companies to Gillette. So that's our strategic plan. Let me tell you a little bit about how economic development got started in Wyoming. The Department of Commerce was created and they had something called Amendment 4 funding. And this was a great idea, but it didn't, it didn't work the way it was intended. Amendment 4 funding was funding that went to businesses who were in trouble. So they needed a loan and so the state was able to give them money. Unfortunately, they didn't necessarily know what to do with that money, and so they still continued to fail. And then those loans were never repaid, a lot of them. So unfortunately, the idea was good, but there just wasn't that management help to help the companies with what to do with that funding. So that ended, 
And then there was uh, the Wyoming Business Alliance had a annual meeting, and they had a speaker come that told them that Wyoming's not not doing economic development. They're they're not doing it on a statewide level, and they're not serious about economic. Wyoming is not serious about economic development, and that's what created. So the legislatures listened to that and created the Wyoming Business Council. This is really had a big impact. It is diversifying. They're doing a great job diversifying Wyoming, but then you say, so why are we so hard hit now that we have you know the oil and the coal businesses down? Why are we so hard hit? Our taxation is still very heavily tied to those um, industries, to those sectors. So we're still, that's the piece that needs to catch up. So these are some of the programs that the Wyoming Business Council has put together in to help with that business diversity. Now they've also done a great job in taking money, unlike the Amendment 4 funding that didn't have any help or support for businesses, these are some grants that are very specific that are really helping to build business. And this is what Phil is down in Cheyenne right now, um, working on these, one of these grants for a local business. So in the 80s is when most of the uh, economic development organizations started in the, in the state. Um, we are CCEDC, we were Campbell County Economic Development, now we've rebranded as Energy Capital Economic Development. And they were developed basically because we knew we needed to do something, we weren't sure what it was. And so there's been a lot of strides since then to focus and the, the efforts have been both government led as well as privately led and really what we're finding out is the private nonprofit approach has really been the most successful with partnered with um, a good partnership with the with the local um, governments. So we have great relationships. On our board is actually the mayor, um, two county commissioners, and two people from the city. So. so who's in charge of our future? So we can just either let whatever happen, happen, or we can be very focused and develop a strategy and our goals um, so we're working towards a better future. So in the light of the elections, we really don't have a whole lot of control locally about what's going on nationally or even in our state elections. So we really just need to stay focused on what we have in our control. And this is, um, our prior leaders have really set the, the stage for us. Um, and we're just continuing on that path, um, working with, um, the agencies that we have, like, like the Business Council. Whoop. So these are some of the things that we are focused on bringing in. Advanced um, new value-added technologies to coal, manufacturing, data centers, and logistic and distribution. Um, manufacturing, we have the workforce here. And if our workforce isn't quite right, we have the ability with the university and workforce development to, to retrain people. Um, so that is something we didn't have before. We've always had a very low um, unemployment rate. So it's always been very difficult to, to bring in because we haven't had uh, the workforce what, that we do now. Um, when I moved here when I was a kid, I was, I was saying earlier, um, we couldn't move here. My, my dad had come over early, and we had to wait for a house to be built. There weren't houses here, and so we had to wait until the houses could be built. So now 
we have houses and we have um, places for people to live immediately when they get here. So the workforce is important for that. Uh, data centers, this is a great location for a data, data center. Our, our climate is great, we have a dry climate. It's you know, not hot in the summers. Um, we're kind of out in the middle of nowhere too where people might not find us uh, as a target. So, um, And then logistics and distribution, we have rail that comes right through here. We have interstate highway. So these, these are the things we're focusing on to bringing these types of businesses to Gillette. So this is a really interesting. Um, uh, the gentleman right here who talked about how regionally maybe you have a better effort of accomplishing your goal than just individual states. So New Growth Alliance is our way of regionalizing economic growth. <clears throat> this was a fantastic idea. Um, we have three communities. Um, in the Northeast Wyoming, Sheridan, Buffalo, and Gillette. <clears throat> Excuse me. They got together and said, why don't we band together as a region? Instead of Gillette saying, you know, we're, we're a town of 30,000 people, if we band together and say, hey, we're a community of 100,000 people with many more resources, then now we start getting on the ra radar of uh, site selectors and things like that, that, hey, this is a community we ought to look at. And all three of us really wouldn't be competing for the same types of businesses because we're very, three very separate in individual communities. Um, so it's off the ground now. The state is really keeping a close eye on us to see how this works. And it could definitely be replicated in other parts of the state. But we're really looking forward to this. So what they're doing now is they're headed out to those conventions and trade shows to um, put us on the map. And that's a real focused effort for, for recruiting new businesses. So of course, the Integrated Test Center, which you've all heard about and know about, is something that's on our radar and that we're very excited to have here. And uh, really looking forward to what this is going to bring <clears throat> to Gillette and the community. Another really exciting thing that uh, is, is brand new, uh, we're going to be working in partnership with the University of Wyoming School of Energy Resource to develop what we're calling right now Energy Capital Advanced Carbon Research Center. So we're going to develop a location very out there by the Dry Fork Mine as well that will be specifically looking at what we can be doing with coal. Um, things like activated carbon, carbon fiber, graphene, you know, what are the possibilities out there? So that's really exciting, too, that we're going to have that res research center located right here and not down in Laramie, you know, where the university is. So it's great that they want to bring it right here to where the coal is. Rex Carbon. Um, this is a company that is looking to relocate here to Gillette, and r right now they'll um, when they first start off, they'll be employing 40 people, but it could easily go up to 100 new jobs. And that's the one that's going to be right out here, local, um, right behind this area um, in an industrial park we're, we're working on. This is the building I mentioned earlier, Energy Capital Enterprise Center. This is going to be our new incubator. Um, so we're going to be working with the Gillette College, uh, Small Business Development, Workforce Center to do a traditional incubator where those entrepreneurs are going to get the support they need to make their business successful. And Atlas Carbon, who you're going to hear about, uh, is he going to be here in a few minutes? Um, Jim Ford is going to talk about um, Atlas Carbon and what their new technology is with, um, with taking coal and making it into active carbon. That's, this is the company that we're in Cheyenne right now supporting. Um, they're looking to acquire a $25 million loan from the state where they will increase their production. So we're really excited to help them with that. And you'll hear more about that. 
shortly. So the other uh, goals that we're doing, and I kind of mentioned this a little bit earlier, is that we're really uh, doing a focused outreach to local businesses and one, we're communicating to them what economic development is. That, that's just kind of small businesses are important. We want them to know what they play in the economic development role and why they need to support us as investors. So we're going to be reaching out um, to companies in Gillette and then also the give back is how can we help you help your business. And then we're working with the city and county to develop these industrial parks. We're really looking um, for all the opportunity to have shovel-ready places available for when those site selectors, site selectors come looking that we have the exact location for them that's perfect. So. And then we're also working, um, another thing that is key to the economic development is our workforce development. Right now we have a fantastic uh, community college, but we have a group of leaders that really believe we need a four-year degree program here and, and possibly master's degree. So we're working um, diligently with the city and the college and UW that that is uh, a real focus and we got some people dedicated uh, to making that happen. So that that's gonna be another very important piece to bringing business to Gillette. So all of those things are what we're working on right now as uh, local economic development. Um, the quarterly breakfast is one of our uh, pieces that we do to communicate to the community what we're doing and to our investors. So this month, uh, we're gonna be here talking about the Camplex, this facility right here. This summer we hosted the National High School Rodeo and it brought in, I believe it was 1,200 high school students from around the country, a couple international, and we're gonna hear their report on what the economic impact was of that. I talked to small businesses all over the city and they, <laughs> just were floored, different businesses. The cell phone company said, you would not believe how many uh, screens I fixed. So the kids were dropping their phones and shattering their screens. He said, you know, my business went up significantly while, while that was here. So, you know, that's another th important way to diversify um, is bringing, bringing events like that here, here to town and, and utilizing these facilities that we have. So really excited to hear what this economic impact study is gonna be. And that is economic development in Gillette, Wyoming. <laughs> Thank you. Do we have any questions for Dana? I guess I do. Yeah. <laughs> so, what do you think are a couple great examples of real success stories that Gillette uh, has to share through the EDA? Well, definitely Atlas Carbon, by far. Um, you know, we have Atlas Carbon, who's an entrepreneur, who or inventor, who's created this new process, and now you know is looking for this twenty-five million dollar loan, and looking to double their, their production. Uh, definitely, you know, I, I said this before, and I don't know what, since most of you are from out of town, what you were expecting when you came to Gillette, Wyoming, what it was gonna look like, what it was gonna be. Um, it's a pretty fantastic place. Um, I hope you were um, pleasantly surprised. Um, we have great hotels, we have great re um, facilities, um, and I think, Part of being here is, <clears throat> excuse me, that we we're able to demonstrate this and and bringing new things to town. So, so definitely Atlas Carbon, uh, Rex Carbon. Um, so having the downturn in the economy really 
we turned lemons into lemonade. So now we have a great workforce that's available. We have housing that's available. We have now all these uh, companies who are looking to do other things with coal than use it, use it for power plants. So it, you know, it just feels like you know, we're on a positive cycle right now, and there's a lot of great things happening. Oh. <laughs> and it has grown it tremendously. But that's Got it. it. <laughs> oh, thank you, Noreen. <laughs> thank you. Good point. Yes, we're very, <clears throat> we're, <clears throat> excuse me, we're very much legislative wise trying to support our legislators and trying to get the business community to support the coal industry, definitely. Thank you for saying that. Go ahead. <laughs> and it was, it was an unbelievable experience with dirt streets, and uh, it, was, it was a rough place, and you mm -hmm. come to Gillette now, and you've done a great job of changing your community to be receptive, to keep people there, yes. and, and provide the things that you need to be a great community. Nice work. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, it's, it's changed a lot since then. This is just more of a comment than anything. I'm a mm -hmm. former Leeds board member oh. and involved in getting Microsoft there, and it just really seems like Gillette has everything available except that shovel-ready business park. Because I know when we were attracting folks to come into Cheyenne, it's labor workforce, it's proximity, you've got I-90 here, mm -hmm. but they want a site, they want to touch it, feel it, see it, see the roads, the bridges, the infrastructure in place, mm -hmm. because they want it now. And, right. and they want to move forward. So I would just, um, I think you've got everything right, um, except for the addition of having some sort of industrial park. And that message has come across loud and clear. That is definitely our focus right now. And we have identified land. And that, that is our next goal, definitely. Thank you. Fantastic. Any more questions? Well, seeing none, thank you for right. taking the time. Thank you, everyone.